Hey guys, welcome back, and just kind of a follow-up video on the current state of Star Wars. I know I talked about this, I think, what, video before last, about how Ahsoka was doing, how the latest ratings and stuff were uh, going for it, but to be honest, I kind of want to focus more right now on Dave Filoni himself, because the reality is that it's, it's being revealed in real time that the people that are leading Lucasfilm between Kathleen Kennedy and Dave Filoni, and even... Um, John Favreau to a certain degree because he is responsible for several properties in the Star Wars universe that these people just don't have a freaking clue what they're doing. They don't have any direction. We've seen we've seen articles in the last few years come out talking about how uh, I believe it was JJ Abrams and Ryan Johnson how they basically had no direction when they were making the Star Wars Disney sequel trilogy. You know, they basically said we just kind of had to wing it. We we got to a certain point where we didn't know what we were doing. And it became very unpredictable, and we just kind of went with it, right? And it explains why the movies turned out the way they did. It explains why they don't have the longevity, and why you even see now, finally, people in the Star Wars fandom able to call it the, those movies out for the, the garbage that they are. Because two, three years ago, you couldn't say the Star Wars sequel trilogy was bad without being labeled a hater or toxic or part of the, the fandom menace. Now, there are plenty of people coming out and saying what was wrong with the Star Wars Disney sequel trilogy in the mainstream. So I think you're in a much different time now than you were two, three years ago with the, the state of how things are going for you know Lucasfilm and Star Wars across the board. So just kind of highlight a few of these articles from Bounding into Comics and Fandom Wire, basically talking about how you know uh, Dave Filoni had previously not butted heads with George Lucas, but George Lucas had no intention of having Ahsoka survive the the Clone Wars cartoon, I, I guess, it was basically the way it came out. Dave Filoni figured, well, you know what I'll do is I'll, I'll have her get banished from the Jedi Order, and that gives her an excuse to not be there for Order 66, and then I can bring her back, and that way she's alive. Kind of one of these situations where Dave and George weren't exactly eye to eye on this whole character arc for this person, uh, you know, for the direction they wanted to take her within the, the sequel trilogy itself, um, you know, going into everything else that we've seen, like the Mandalorian TV show and stuff, everything has been disjointed because nobody's on the same page, quite obviously. And this is just another example of it, quite clearly. Um, a lot of people, this is an article from Fandom Wire back in September, uh, talking about how a lot of people assumed Dave Filoni was George Lucas's apprentice, his, you know, heir to the throne, basically that he would be taking over Star Wars once George was fully out of the picture, maybe after he passed away. But, you know, George Lucas himself has cleared up this topic and said, no, absolutely not. I, I have no intention for Star Wars to continue once I'm gone. He said basically that the way that he sees things, once he's gone, well, here, here's his exact quote. He says, no, I've worked it out to where when I do it in the terms of the films that I'm doing, this will be the last. The next film, three, will be the last film, and it'll be a six-part series, and that'll be the end of it. Um... He even denied having mentored someone to take over for him after his death. He said there are other, there may be other venues for it, but not in the theatrical release, but for sort of offshoot stories and things in other areas, but not theatrical films. I just want to keep that special. I don't want to have it sort of turn into Star Trek. So the idea that he necessarily is ever going to, I mean, look, Disney owns the sequel trilogy or the, the Star Wars brand that is, as it is right now, that Disney truly can do whatever they want to with it as long as they own the rights to the the name Star Wars and all the connected universe that everything that it encompasses. However, I think what he's saying here is simply that none of these movies are going to have his blessing moving forward. He, he has no intention of having anything to do with any of them. So yeah, Disney could make 10 more Star Wars films after George Lucas passes, but they're not going to be his Star Wars. I think is one way to interpret that. So now we're getting to the point where we see people like Howard Kazanjian, I guess is how his name is uh, pronounced, a producer from several of the original Star Wars films, basically coming out in his um, autobiography, if you will. It's a movie about, or a book about being a producer, where there's a quote, and apparently this book is actually, it's been released for two years. It looks like it was written in 2021. So I'm surprised we haven't heard about this yet. But a quote from the book here says, Generally speaking, I think that the filmmakers on The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi didn't understand the story. Kazanjian says they didn't understand what a Jedi Knight was all about. That's the simplest way to put it. Skywalker's the story, and I think that's what they failed at. I'm not talking about just Mark Hamill as Skywalker. It's the overall psychological story of Skywalker and, of course, the Jedi Knights. The ardent fans know more about the storyline than the filmmakers. And boy, have, we've been saying that for a long time now. A lot of us have. 
And this all culminates to where we are now, where this article here from Geeks and Gamers uh, talking about the Samba TV numbers points out that basically nobody's watching Star Wars or Marvel. And again, I want to clarify something. Samba TV has the Ahsoka series, the finale, um, the last episode of the series, reaching, I think it was 863,000 across five days, if I'm not mistaken. That was the, the overall numbers of first six days. 863,000. That's a tiny number of people. Reality is, though, Samba doesn't always capture every TV, every household, because, for example, I was setting up a TV for my mom last year, and she opted out of the Samba TV uh, ratings, you know, the reporting then stuff that you can opt into. So not everybody who has a new TV, a new smart TV, is going to opt into Samba TV. Um, my TV currently doesn't have it on it, and I have a smart TV. And... You know, that's just kind of the case. So if you're using it as a, a good average, then I guess that makes sense. But the reality is, whether it's an average or a percentage of a certain amount of people, based on the numbers alone, this is worse than Andor, or at least on this on par with Andor, I believe. This is worse than The Mandalorian Season 3. This show, Ahsoka, it's landed with a thud. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, no, it did great. No, it really hasn't. If these numbers are a reflection, at least in relation to the other Star Wars shows that we've seen, this shows a general lack of interest in anything Star Wars that we've seen in the last few years. And I think it's going to be a trend that continues. If the Acolyte actually sees the light of day, which I don't know if it will, it's just going to get far worse. Um, either way, let me know what you think about this all down below in the comments, and we will see you guys on the next one. And if you made it this far, thank you for watching the video. We do have two channels, one for daily uploads, the other one for more of my live streams and hot takes. Uh, links to both are down below, as well as the ability to join as a channel member for as little as $3 a month, and that'll greatly help us out. Much appreciated. We also have links to our Etsy accounts down below, as well as our website. We also have Locals and Subscribestar. If you didn't want to support us on YouTube, you can support us through those. Thanks again for being here, and we will see you on the next one.